Most do not realize that they are blind. With your art, the world will see the wonder, the sorrow, and the beauty that we miss in our everyday lives. You and your art give hope in the lives of all you touch. I'm a huge fan of my own art. I know I'm not a master in it, and I don't have to be one. I love to express my deepest feeling through art. Art is a passion. Only you can make it happen. I love art because there is no right and wrong. You can do whatever you want, and it's still art. I love art because it makes me happy. people can start appreciating themselves I believe is to first appreciate nature the minute we appreciate nature will be the minute we start connecting with ourselves the minute we start accepting who and what we are embracing nature unites three major components of your existence namely mind body and soul That coordination brings up appropriateness at every level. It balances the inner environment which greatly ends up balancing physical inappropriateness, overcoming depression, reducing stress, building self-esteem and staying in shape are examples of the benefits. In this space, the immense power of nature is connected and ready to help you to provide answers to unsolved problems that bother you. If you bring up any unanswered life issue that bothers you in your conscious bewilderment, you may receive more appropriate answers. Using this process can be very helpful to understand your potential and your career questions, most importantly, it leads to accepting yourself and understanding yourself. Every morning I wake up to this immense power that the nature holds. It is the only thing that keeps me going. If there will be anything that will crown me every morning after waking up, it has to be nature. Talk about conservation. Well, conservation isn't just the business of a few people. It's a matter that concerns all of us. It's a science whose principles are written in the oldest code in the world, the laws of nature. The natural resources of our vast continent are not inexhaustible. But if we will use our riches wisely, if we will protect our wildlife and preserve our lakes and streams, 
These things will last us for generations to come. I, was born I never had this in Cape Town, back the where I was born. The river. Oh, how I love the river. If it's not music, then it has to be this. The way I love river, I would die for the river. And I would do it over and over and over again. So I grew up Pretending that I'm happy when I'm not Pretending to be happy with what I got Until I came across the river and it showed me I was lost I would die for the river Music also plays a big role in my life. It has always been a big part of my life. My father used to play a guitar in his young age and I basically followed his footstep. At the age of 11 years old, I learned to play keyboard and later piano. Sang in sand, school, church choir. She may be weary. Them young girls, they do get weary. Wearing that same old. At home, I grew up listening to my daddy's CD from Tracy Chipman, Brandy, Dolly Parton, Wilson Pickett, Simon Buck, Marvin Gaye, Carl Thomas, Eddie Floyd, James Brown, Floyd, Charles, to his gospel music from T.D. Jakes all the way to African gospel. Music. Like other fine arts, it is what feeds the soul and touches the body, moving it. Anyone who has grown up from a musically talented parent knows the tremendous part that music plays in one's memory. Music can fit our moods as well. I will always remember riding with a friend year ago. This is why I love music. No word can describe my love for music. Music crowns me. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I don't want to be a, an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. Just because I don't come from a royal family, just because my family is not that rich, just because my dad is not a king, just because none of my family members were actually kings or queens or whatsoever, that means I'm not king. That's actually what people think nowadays. Just because you don't come from that kind of background, that royalty background, then you are nothing. You are just an ordinary guy and I totally disagree with that. I challenge that every day. I wake up, I challenge that, I prove to people that you can actually be your own king because I believe we are our own kings. You don't need a visible crown to actually say that you are a king, to actually so that people see that you are a king. You don't need that in your life. You can start by actually ruling your body, you can start actually by respecting your body, respecting your temple. We are our own kings. A lot of people don't understand the statement. I quote this every day. I am indeed a king because I know how to rule myself. By Pietro Ariento. 
There can be no failure to a man who has not lost courage. His character, his self-respect and his self-confidence. He is still a king. Words by Osrin Sweet Modern. Future. Losing my future is not like losing an election or a few points on the stock market. As I said, you don't need a visible crown in order to be king. Sweat says very well, a man who has not lost his courage, his character, his self-respect is a king. Society takes that from us, that self-confidence and it takes who should we become and what we should become. It judges us to be things that will make them happy and satisfies them. Doing good or doing bad, anyway society is going to judge you. That's why I choose to live my life as an independent individual. No one should tell the king what to do. Label me stubborn, I don't care. A king doesn't smile. <laughs> it doesn't smile. A seed is planted at a young age and I believe from a small seed a mighty trunk may grow. That's why I always stress that parents should be aware of what they feed their children. It will grow. I wash my face. I let it deep into my skin. I baptize myself. I open my eyes and I look at myself. I didn't have that scared look on my face, but I had the look of, it is happening, this is it. That is the look I looked at myself with. I saw the sky, the sky was puffy red, pinkish. In there was all gloomy lights flying. Confused I was, people started disappearing one by one until one figure was left. It was a guy, he was black, and he opened his eyes as well. His flesh somehow disappeared from his skeleton. As the skeleton approached me, the vision changed. I unbaptized myself from the salty water that made home in me. I fed it for quite some time. I unwashed my face. The sky remained puffy red as all events unwired. I'm the only one left. You said you wanted to know me. What I feel being a human being is just having the freedom to be yourself, being comfortable in your own skin, not caring what other people think, just having that freedom to be you. Because if you're not yourself, then who are you? Being human, I believe, is not just only being flesh and bones. See, for me, being human consists of many things. One of them being sensible, being sensible of others' pain, being sensible to problems, being aware. Being aware for me is knowing what is happening in the world, is caring what's going on. Being aware is knowing and wanting to help. I'm a human being. Nothing human can be alien to me. That's one thing I'm learning. Nothing in life is promised except death. If you have the opportunity to play this game of life, you need to appreciate every moment 
A lot of people don't appreciate their moment until it's past. Valuing life, circle, people around you. Enjoying life. This bond of humankind. Happiness. Every day God grants us with precious gift of life. You know, yet every day we squander it with our selfish pity concerns rather than helping someone as he helps us. The value of life lies not in the length of days, but in the use we make of them. Whether you find satisfaction in life depends not on your tale of years, but on your will. <coughs> <laughs> Valuing family, to me family comes first. There is nothing in this world I value than my two brothers. Even though we are not yet at that level of sharing almost everything. But I am their mentor when it comes to certain things. I am their big brother. Yes, you know me. My mother, my father, growing up in the cold streets of Kailicha, there is nothing special about us. Well, besides me being king. <laughs> but honestly, Bella, I'm the one who owns this shit. <laughs> These are the little things in life we should value before they disappear from our positions, or rather, eyes. And my family is my aid. First aid. <laughs> Everything I'm doing in life is just for them. Happiness is difficult to define because it means something different to each individual person. Nobody can fully understand or experience another person's feeling. And we all have our own particular passions from which we take pleasure. Some people, for example, derive a sense of satisfaction from earning money or achieving success. Whereas for others, health and family are much more important. In whatever I do, I make sure I find happiness in it. My dream of becoming a software programmer and a hacker is not outcompeted by my love of making videos or rather video editing. Basically, I love anything technical, anything that has to do with technology. As portrayed on one of my YouTube videos, I spend most of my time sitting in front of my laptop, if not with my cell phone. No, Typical born free, one would say. <laughs> I don't care. It's where my happiness lies. I am an African. I owe my being to the hills and the valleys, the mountains and the glades, the rivers, the deserts, the trees, the flowers, the seas and the ever-changing seasons that define the face of our native land. 
a human presence among all of these, a feature on the face of our native lands just defined, I know that none dare challenge me when I say I am an African. Whatever the setbacks of the moment, nothing can stop us now. Whatever the difficulties, Africa shall be at peace. Thank you very much. I'm all about equality, be it gender, social, economic, natural equality, political equality, where all citizens should have a right, a political right, and should have equal access to all offices of authority. <laughs> I'm all about that life. Everyone should not reason their existence. Human. That's what everyone should be and seen as. <laughs> Do you know me? Do you know me? Do you know me? Or are you pretending to know me? Is that you? Are you pretending? Stop pretending. You don't know me. Why don't you know me? How many times must I tell you who I am? Normally, it's balabak to basic toilet. You don't get enough. I need to clean the English. Like I'm going to introduce myself. Hello, guys. My name is Usumzim Kabela. Born and bred in Cape Town. I live with my parents, mom and dad, and my two brothers that I love so dearly. I'm currently studying at Northwest University. of November, the year is not important. <laughs> okay. I'm ambitious. <laughs> I'm, I'm ambitious. Stubborn. Hopefully ever evolving. He's busy with this. Completely loyal. And devoted to those I love. <laughs> I'm really good. Okay, my dream is to actually build my mom a house <laughs> and have a mansion very big, very big and have a mansion and what? have cars, lots of cars, tons of cars. My favorite car is, B is not BMW, hell no. It is um, Mercedes, Mercedes. Who does not love Mercedes? I have my own business. Um, I'll see myself in five years' time um, working at a big company, a very big company, earning mullahs. And um, computer crime, which is widely known as cyber crime. I totally, I'm a totally against it and I condemn it. I actually support the current legislation and the law that if you are involved in a be it of any sort, be it computer, cyber, whatsoever, um, you should go to jail, you should be jailed, you should be imprisoned. And I totally do um, support that. 
and I think it's very easy, especially if you have and if you have the knowledge of how to use the computer and you like know everything, not everything, almost everything, then you are likely to fall into that kind of trap into that kind of trap to involve yourself in any crime, computer crime basically. Um so no and what I think about black hat black hat hackers um those guys should also be um be imprisoned because you know a lot of people don't know actually what hacker is what a hacker is um when they hear the word hacker they automatically think of a criminal but you actually could i mean you actually you actually get good hackers and actually get bad hackers that are actually
very much for watching King ID in the Neverland. I only need one thing from you to follow this link right here. It's mikey.com forward slash r forward slash rbj 3 j 76 It's a survey and it consists of only five questions. How do you find the video? Was it boring? Was it cool? I just need to hear from you. Just follow this link and if you're watching this from YouTube, you can just click on the link. Otherwise, later. Thank you very much.